if this crypto fails, it can take the whole cryptocurrency market like a house of cards. Welcome back guys, it's Crypto Rocco from Rockstar Trading Channel. In today's video, I'll share with you everything that you need to know about the crypto lender firm Celsius. If you are in Bitcoin or cryptocurrency, I'm sure you've heard about the risks of Celsius being liquidated. In this video, I'll explain to you what Celsius is, what it does, and more importantly, the risk it imposes on the whole cryptocurrency markets, Bitcoin, Ethereum, or any cryptocurrency that you hold. I'll also end the video by doing a price prediction on the Celsius price, but I'll focus more on the impacts of Celsius on the whole cryptocurrency market. Before I get started on the video, if you do enjoy this content guys, do hit that like button, it really helps us out. I did a video a couple of days ago, talked about how the whole market is interconnected, so how Luna's crash is having an impact on Celsius potentially getting liquidated, and Celsius liquidation, how it, how that can have an effect on 3 Arrows Capital, or even potentially Michael Saylor. So if you do enjoy this type of content, do hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. And one final thing, if you are interested in taking your trading to the next level, you can check the Rockstar Trading Groups out. In the YouTube video, guys, I share with you all my trades, and my entries, my targets. In the Rockstar Trading Group, I can share a strategy, share my exact entries, targets when I'm entering, and also can live stream, you get access to the community and all that good stuff. If you are interested, you can check the uh, check out the link below. But you don't have to do that if you're not interested. The only thing I request is if you do enjoy this content, do hit that like button and get the YouTube algorithms going. This content that I'm sharing is really important for people to understand so they don't get scammed. So guys, let's get started to the, in the, with the video. So Celsius, Celsius is a DeFi app, they want to call it, you know, you could call it DeFi, it's a DeFi lending platform, they say it, but you know, even though they're DeFi, they, you could argue that they're actually not DeFi because it is centralized and it's someone making decisions and using your money to put into decentralized uh, decentralized finance uh, to earn you a yield. So if the collapse of Luna was cryptocurrency's Bear Stearns moment, Celsius Network threatens to become uh, industry's Lehman Brothers the failure that exasperates a market crisis. So Celsius, which resembles a bank while touting itself as a de democratized interest income and lending platform, is rumored to be solvent following freeze on withdrawals over the weekend. So it's not just a rumor. If you go on the official Twitter website, you can see Celsius is pausing all withdrawals, swaps and transfers between accounts. Acting in the interest of a community is our top priority. Our operations continue and will continue to share information with the community. So that's just the gist of it. But if we look into what Celsius is, so Celsius says 1.5 million people call Celsius their home for cryptocurrency because we put our community first, join us for a military grade security. And when you hear this type of words, it doesn't really feel you with confidence next level transparency i don't think they're transparent at all you can't really understand exactly how they use your money and do do it all app designed to help you reach reach financial goals whether you're hodling long term or swapping daily sign up to get 50 dollars in crypto so if I try to explain to you what Celsius does, there's a good diagram here. So customers lend money to Celsius in, in exchange for yields. This is essentially an unsecured loan. Celsius puts customers deposits in decentralized finance investments and lends out funds to other users, including exchanges and market makers. So that's what Celsius do. One example is they had money in Luna and UST. And with the Luna UST dump, they took a huge hit. They also got a lot of money into Ethereum, uh, stake Ethereum. That's also having an impact celsius earns a return from borrow borrowers and investments but what they do with our money we don't really know are they taking lots of risk have they got risk management in place if you follow our channel the first thing i talk about you know on the youtube live streams i'm doing another youtube live stream every, every sunday i do a live stream guys so make sure you subscribe to the channel and turn on the notification button the live trades i share with you i always put a stop loss on i always have risk management that's the first thing i teach you know on my course i don't share with you yeah, trading strategies and fancy technicals or indicators. The first thing I talk about is psychology and risk management. And I'm really surprised to see some big companies, big accounts, you know, Duquan, people that we trust, um, uh, other people, you know, Justin Sun, potentially even again, I'm, I'm probably sharing rumors, nothing's been confirmed on him. But you know, Three Arrows Capital, Suzu, they're very clever people, we we trust them. And I followed Suzu and bought lots of Luna. And that was a great decision. I followed Suzu and bought lots of other small coins that didn't work out. But it's really strange to see, you know, these people being so aggressive and almost degen, more degen than us. It's it's absolutely ridiculous. 
And one good comment I had on the YouTube live stream that I did, uh, someone said, you know, just because some someone is rich doesn't mean he's smart. And, you know, don't trust anyone. Don't think that he's rich. He's going to, we can trust him. Don't trust me. Don't trust anyone. You, you know, what you li- read online. The most important thing I can share with you guys is only trust yourself, you know, use information, you know, check out my group if you're interested or listen to myself, but, you know, make your own decisions. Do not trust anyone with your hard earned money, even though they might sound really fancy. And I'm not going to go into too much details on all the house of cards that could happen. I'll make another video because this video will be too long, but I will go into details with Celsius. So the best article I've found is this, and I'll read the most important parts of it. And um, uh, so they, uh, as CoinDesk, uh, Reuters, lots of people have approached Celsius and asked for um, comments on that, but they haven't really um, confirmed anything. So Cell was uh, my backstop, my safety net. I did have other crypto, but it all blew up as I tried to prop up loans. So the person who asked remain anonymous, but provided CoinDesk with screenshots showing liquidation loans. Like I've said at the start of this video, this is not a f- rumor or FUD. There's actual proof online that you can find, which shows that Celsius is struggling. So Celsius has been using multitude of DeFi protocols, including Terra Anchor, Ethereum, Star, Starwatt, Lido, and Curve in order to leverage clients' funds to pay 17% APY in yields. And Nansen, a blockchain analytical provider, identified the wallets making these trades as connected to Celsius. One thing that I want to point out is the rumor is Celsius went quite aggressive with Luna and Anchor and once they made made a loss, traders would know this, they revenge traded. Lots of traders when they lose money, they go more aggressive, try, try to win it back. Or It's like a gambler's, you know, a revenge gambling if you want to call it. Let's say you try to, you know, gamble with $1,000, you lose it. You put $2,000 to try and gain it all back in one trade. So that's basically what they've done and it's quite scary to see, you know, someone uh, so reputable, you think Celsius is a reputable company doing that. There's lots of confusions about where the yields come from. Celsius generates certain amount of profit by lending assets, similar to what banks do. We lend them out on a short-term basis. These are not loans. We lend them financial assets players to players that can transact, generate income for themselves through arbitrage ma- market making or shorting certain stocks or digital assets. We're equivalent to seek securities lending in a digital world. So you can see Although we think that Celsius is decentralized, when you read this bit, what they're doing is it's a centralized decision making. Although they're trying to make money in DeFi, they're not really centralized. And we can see the price of it. You know, simple technical analysis. I'm not even touching buying this. We've seen this drop about 90 or 99, 98% once the floor broke. And I've not been interested in touching this. And this could go a lot lower, like I said. So from trading of price prediction point of view unless we see it above five dollars i'm not really looking to buy if it dips into maybe i mean i'm not even going to risk that because it can keep going lower especially if the rumors are true and they get liquidated there's lots of rumors these at the the start of the video what i'm sharing is the actual facts i'll talk about a lot of the other rumors that are going on as well on the other hand there's a smart contract risk there's protocol risks so you know i talked about when i had my money in anchor protocol there's smart contract risk there's protocol risk lending in DeFi exposure to significant volatile markets. You know, you could get liquidated if there's a huge price swing on something, which is what's happening. Uh, apparently, again, this is rumored. This is not a fact. Uh, there liquidation was it was below 20k it, it's now been moved to 17k then they've had some borrowed money from tether and like i've said tether lending the money could be even more risky because tether could now get into the problem and i'm not even going to talk about tether fud because you know if tether fails it's going to affect cryptocurrency really bad i mean we could even see 3k 1k bitcoin if tether tether fails is such an important part of cryptocurrency there's lots of DeFi disasters you know ethereum staking service stake account disclosed that it had misplaced private keys you know celsius we've talked about luna there's been lots of lots of issues even now we're seeing ss um st eth on lido could potentially have an impact the the st i i actually think that's not an issue it's more other people having to sell it because of taking leverage and that's what it comes down to is greed you know three hours capital i'll probably make another video on it it's just their greed they're, they're just leveraged long everywhere and and a lot of the tokens that they have and they might have money so even you know celsius might have money but their money is locked up so um a lot of the investments that three hours capital did they're all locked up uh, until a year or two so they can't get the money out so it's not the decentralized protocol lido it's more the people that are leveraging 
using money and then they can't wait that they're trying to sell ST ETH and that's creating a FUD. I think they're totally unprepared for the market to tank. It seems like they had a number of highly complex leverage long positions. I initially put my stack into Celsius because they're FCA approved. The person in the UK added, I had incorrectly understand that my deposits were covered by the UK deposit protection scheme. So in a way, this is a scam. Does that does not mean the FCA has assessed a company as fit and proper? I only receive ever receive about three to five percent APR yield on my Bitcoin. This does not seem unreasonable given Celsius' stated model. However, once Celsius paused or withdrawal on their accounts, I looked closely. I would describe their use of DeFi protocols as a gambling with customer funds. So there's lots of risk. There's lots of headwinds. There's regulatory headwinds coming on, coming on as well. State securities regulators investigating Celsius freezing their accounts. And what I always say is, I just hope that you know people with hard-earned money like us we don't get shafted because rich people always find a way out. I just really hope that, you know, people, hardworking people that put their money don't get, you know, lost. Uh, our ultimate objective is stabilizing liquidity and restoring withdrawals, transfers, swaps between accounts as quickly as possible. There's a lot of work ahead as we consider various options. This process will take time. So that's what they've not really come up with anything. Like I said, their final tweet has been that they're really busy. They're working around the clock uh, to make things work and, um, we're just in the dark. You can read these articles. There's not much more information than I know. There's lots of rumors on Reddit, Twitter, people messaging me. But that's the facts that we know. If we, if we go into rumors, um, if when we see something where you need and you can see companies websites to so just make it really trustworthy their website is so trustworthy and um, but you know what they are what 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 i will sh i'll share with you my thoughts now so that's all the information that i found that is important for you to share with you my thoughts guys it's really important to 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 uh, when you invest in cryptocurrency it's really important to understand when something doesn't work and they have to play with it that is very risky so when anchor protocol yield an example i can give you i made a video on it when that yield wasn't sustainable they had to top it up with their own money and that doesn't work that's like a ponzi scheme and in a way i'm not saying celsius is a ponzi scheme but they are risking their money um with something that doesn't really help and it's not really sustainable and we can see prices dump because of that and if celsius carries on doing that and they don't drop the apy or you know they they, they can't get the funding that they need and if they go underwater get your money out and you can see the psychology happening because more and more people would like to get their money out and and that's when you have a run in the bank people get scared and the prices go even down and down so this is really concerning i really hope that they don't go down and we can see the house of cards happening because there's more cryptocurrencies going down we're seeing you know Babel finance going down three hours capital potentially li being liquidated there's been proof uh, that they have been liquidated for their positions on ftx deribit and bitmex and it could all go down so celsius has a huge impact and you know just to give you three hours capitals example they could own about five ten billion worth of bitcoin and if they break down that could mean they crash the whole market imagine five billion selling pressure on bitcoin i wouldn't think 20k would break but this this type of news could dump bitcoin to something crazy that we haven't expected and and lastly and i'll end this on this note i'm not saying that michael saylor would get liquidated the rumors some people say his liquidation is below three dollar three k some people say it's just below 10k we don't know but this is the type of news that could bore all into something really bad and and i started this video by saying this could be you know cryptocurrencies moment like we saw you know the the 2009 financial crisis let's say 2017 was like a dot-com bubble for cryptocurrency and this could be like the lehman brothers a moment for for cryptocurrency so what you can do is again don't go all in now have some capital in place and if we do get the dip we can buy it and i did com compare you know the celsius there's not too much to say about it i'm not buying it not thinking about buying it i'm mainly focused on what celsius does on the whole cryptocurrency market so that's the video guys let me know in the comment section below if you enjoy it if you have any questions comment below like i said i will be doing a youtube live stream on sunday i usually take saturday off trading and cryptocurrency so make sure you subscribe to the channel turn on the notification button and i'll see you guys sunday with a live stream i'll go through this i'll, I'll the stuff first half of the live stream i'll talk about this house of cards and how everything is interconnected so if you are interested in that make sure you like that button subscribe to the channel and turn on the notification button and before i end the video what is your 
thoughts on this what do you think is going on with celsius and everything else comment below your thoughts on celsius so thank you very much smash that like button subscribe to the channel and i'll see you guys soon with another great video thank you very much